afternoon, madam. Now, Mr. Kwesi's election in the 2020 general election was annulled by the Cape Coast High Court after which uh, an appeal was filed and is still pending, but he continues to hold himself as an MP. Is that of no, no contempt to the court? Uh, well, uh, if I got the question right, the point is that uh, after the Cape Coast High Court uh, decision, he appealed to the <coughs> Court of Appeal. And that has, uh, with some application, has stayed uh, more or less the execution of the High Court judgment. Uh, but as of now, that application uh, that was uh, impinged on the uh, on the Court of Appeal, Court of Appeal uh, proceedings is still pending. And so it's not that the court decision has been um, made and then the member is still holding himself as such. So um, if I get you right, it's still right for him to be called an MP. Is that what you mean? Yes. Uh, yes, because the appeal, you know, when you appeal against the decision of the high court and then you apply still or proceed and uh, still of execution, sorry, and then uh, both are served on the respondent, it serves as a stay for the first two weeks or so. But the question as to after that period, what happened? You see, there was even an earlier controversy about whether the speaker has to declare even the seat vacant subsequent to the high court decision. And the speaker issued uh, a statement or made a statement in parliament saying that in reference to the appeal, we have to wait for the decision on the appeal to be made before the next step can be taken. Mm. So that is the explanation to that. All right. So if a court adjourns the case indefinitely, what does that mean? You mean the Supreme Court's uh, press case? Yes, please. Yes, so now you have uh, the same matter pending as the court of appeal. And then there's a fresh action, this time a little different in terms of the legality. Because here the, the plaintiff is seeking interpretation of Article 94-2A to um, you know, ascertain or for the court to determine whether uh, if you have a dual citizenship, you know, it naturally um, uh, also deprive you of your um, allegiance. And for that matter, you lose your seat. That is the, the new um, suit before the Supreme Court now. And as part of that process, I've read that application for injunction has also been um, put in. So that is what we have now. So this is a quite different action and it's still not connecting, even though the central issue is the same. So it's for the Supreme Court now uh, waiting for the, the, the member in this question to be saved. Uh, so until the service, uh, nothing can be done. Mm -hmm. But the court definitely upon the service will go ahead to hear the application. But as to when that will be done, uh, it may not be reasonably uh, uh, contemplated. So the court will definitely will have to decide whether or not to grant the injunction before it even goes ahead to determine the substantive matter, which is uh, seeking interpretation of Article 94 to A of the Constitution. All right. So um, it says here that the Supreme Court adjourned the matter after the writ could not be served on Mr. James Jerchi Kwesen. Help me understand this. If a writ cannot be served on a defendant, is there no process to compel the defendants to come to court? Yes. Um, you know, for every court process, it has to be served personally personally on the on the defendant so 
here, once the person has not been served, doesn't come within the jurisdiction or the powers of the court. It's as if nothing is against him. Uh -huh. So now you know in his position as the member of parliament, okay, an attempt was made to serve him from the record, but that was not successful and they brought it to the court's uh, attention. And so you read, I have read somewhere, not from official records though, that uh, the court actually directed that the, uh, the rate be served on him as an individual personal. Uh -huh. So if that is the case, then he has to be served as a person and probably not through the rigorous parliamentary service procedure. Uh, that is if what I've read from the unofficial source is correct. So until the rate and the accompanying uh, process are served on him personally, that the case cannot uh, be proceeded with. Right. So now, uh, if further attempts are made to serve him personally as an individual for three consecutive times and they fail, they fail to achieve that, he can apply for maybe a uh, substitute service. Mm -hmm. Uh, where it can be published uh, in the newspaper or maybe pasted at the court or some other uh, places. All right. Thank you very much.